The debate continues. In fact, it's heating up about the safety of plastics. Plastics that are used in things like baby bottles or water bottles. Some of them contain a chemical called bisphenol A or BPA. Yesterday, as you remember, the FDA was meeting to discuss this. They decided it is safe, but that contradicts a new study that says it could cause heart disease and diabetes. Joining us is Dr. Holly Phillips. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. So here's what I don't understand. Why is the FDA standing by this when there's so much doubt and now this study linking it to serious health problems? Exactly. Well, the issue is this study was not conclusive. The study looked at 1,400 people and it measured the level of BPA in the urine. Now, 90% of us have some BPA in our systems. Uh, but what the study showed was that people with the highest levels of BPA were more than twice as likely to get diabetes or heart disease than those at the lowest levels. So I assume that this would be urgent to find a study that is conclusive. Certainly. This was the first study that looked at humans. We do have some animal studies that showed reproductive and endocrine problems with the, with the chemical, but this is the first with humans, so we need many more. We talked about this yesterday. I think it's worth reiterating because there is this doubt, even though the FDA is sticking by it, how do we know what has BPA? Well, that's one of the problems. Many, many products have BPA in them. Uh, but there are some sort of tips we can use. If you're going to use uh, reusable water bottles, look at the bottom. There should be a little triangle. If it has a number seven, it may have BPA in it. Number one through six is safe. One through, see, we, we, I learned this yesterday, and I can't right. tell you the number of people on the street who said... <laughs> What was that number again? And I, I, my daughter was drinking the bottled water last night. We turned it around and it had a one. So any number but seven is okay. Exactly. All right. And seven, it doesn't mean it definitely has BPA, but, but it, it might. might. All right. Other tips, if you're going to warm something up in the microwave, choose glass or Pyrex. By putting it in plastic, the chemical BPA may leach out into your food. Because of the heat? Exactly. So it's better to go with glass. And also, try to use jars or bottles instead of cans. Some of the cans are actually lined with plastic on the inside, which could have BPA, and that, of course, could get into your food. So there are some little changes we can make in the meantime while we're trying to get to some conclusive evidence. That's beautiful. Dr. Holly Phillips, thanks.